don't know. No, I don't want to hear Because your shoes are too big. I know. I don't, worry about it. I don't want to do the paperwork. All right. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Michael Cashel, President. Thomas Wood? Here. Meg Lafay? Here. Barbara Ebert? Here. Charles Costa? Here. James Coffey? Here. And I am present. Uh, we continue to follow the protocols uh, regarding uh, safety and social distancing regarding uh, COVID-19. Uh, we'll move forward. Uh, Resolution 138, approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of uh, September 24, 2020 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? So moved. Costic, is there a second? Second. Well, babe, is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. Uh, seeing nothing for public comment this evening, I would remind folks that we uh, do make accommodations for individuals to participate in our meetings. Resolution 139, abstract uh, 10B-20. Resolved that the abstract of audited claims number 10B-20 for $359,570.69, abstract 10B-20, prepays for the amount of $144,375 be received as reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Ebert, is there a second? Second. Well, Fave, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Kerry. Resolution 140, monthly department reports. Resolved to receive and place on file monthly department head reports, building and grounds for September, dog control officer for September, highway superintendent for September, parks and rec for September, wastewater, water and wastewater for September, codes and zoning for September, and uh, planning and community development for September, and supervisor's financial report for September, and town for September. Is there a motion? So moved. Costic, is there a second? Second. Well, Fave, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So, so, so does Carrie. 141. 3% site plan return deposit for Town Fair Tire Site Plan 2019. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Planning Board has reviewed re and approved all requirements of the Town Fair Tire Site Plan of 2019, and whereas the Planning and Community Development Department has coordinated inspection of said project and reports all requirements have been met and completed, therefore be resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to release the deposit in the amount of $2,196.27 plus accrued interest to date, and it is further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be forwarded by the Planning and Community Development Department Secretary with the return of the deposit to Town Fair Tire Center of New York, LLC. Motion. So, uh, Go Costa. I would just uh, add that you know this is one of the um, businesses that actually opened during the pandemic, and we just wish them the very best and also welcome to the community. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. Resolution 142, setting a public hearing for certain elected official salaries and the 2021 preliminary budget. Whereas a public notice of the preliminary budget and certain elected official salaries must be shared, therefore be resolved. Notice of hearing entitled setting a public hearing for elected official salary salaries and the 2021 preliminary budget shall be published once in the local newspaper and posted at the town hall as indicated. Notice is hereby given that the preliminary budget for the town of Plattsburgh for the year beginning. January 1st, 2021, will be compiled and filled in the office of town clerk on or before October 31st, 2020. Further notice, it is hereby given that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh will meet and review said preliminary budget and hold a public hearing thereon at the town hall located on the Bank Road in the town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County, New York, on Thursday, November 5th, 2020, at 6.05 prevailing time. At such hearing, any person may be heard in favor or against the preliminary budget as compiled at four and or against any item or items therein contained. Council persons, four positions, $13,000 each. Supervisor, $73,000. Town clerk, $32,795. Highway superintendent, $79,615. A copy of the preliminary budget will be available for inspection by all interested persons at the town hall 
on the Banker Road between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the fight. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Hebert, any discussion? Yeah. Um, is this uh, so don't we usually have it also on our website, or is it just going to be available here? That it will be put on the website as well. And does the uh, last one down, does that include the extra money? No. That's, okay, so we're back to where back to where it should have been? Yeah, well, it's, oh. back, it's, back, it's reflective of uh, the current um, level of where it would have been. Yep. Thank you. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I get a roll call, please? Thomas Wood? Yes. Meg Lafay? Yes. Barbara Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Michael Cash? Yes. A resolution does carry. Thank you. Resolution 143, public hearing on the notice of the consolidated assessment rules. Resolved that public hearings be held by the town board at the town hall on the Banker Road on Thursday, November 5th, 2020, at 6 10 p.m. prevailing time for the purpose of hearing and considering any comments which may be made to the completed consolidated assessment rules that are on file with the town clerk pursuant to the Town Law Section 239 as follows. Town of Plattsburgh Consolidated Water District, Town of Plattsburgh Consolidated Sewer District, Base Water District, Base Sewer District, Base Stormwater Management District, Base Highway Maintenance Improvement District, Highway Townwide, Town of Plattsburgh Lighting District, Consolidated Ambulance District. And it is further resolved that the town clerk is hereby directed to have published in the Press Republic a notice of said public hearings to be held at the Town Hall 151 Banker Road and also posted on the Town Clerk's board. It being further resolved, the finance manager is to be given a copy of this resolution. Is there a motion? So moved. Austin, is there a second? Second. Uh, Wood, any discussion? All right. Uh, seeing none, can I get a roll call? Thomas Wood? Yes. Meg Lafay? Barbara Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Michael Cash. Yes, resolution does carry. Resolution 144, <coughs> Junkyard License for 55 Hammond Lane Compliance. Whereas the town clerk has received a renewal application and fees for a license to operate a junkyard business from Robert and Jason Carmeter at 55 Hammond Lane, and whereas Steve Imhoff, Code Enforcement Officer, has completed a reinspection of the junkyard parcel 220.8-8.4 only. And whereas the applicant is now in compliance with local law number six of 1984 and section eight of the town local law, now therefore it is resolved that the town of Clarksburg Town Board is hereby received and place on file some application and authorize the town clerk to issue a junkyard license to the aforementioned, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the town clerk and the codes and zoning department. Is there a motion? So moved. Wood. Is there a second? Second. Hebert, any discussion? This would still need to be renewed at the regular time. Next year. Next year. Next year. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I was some questions time. that I had, so the term is still going to be the normal term. Yeah. That is correct. It's not going to run. Yeah, this is only this will only be for the period of 2020. Yeah. So right. and and can I potentially suggest that we take a look at the local law from 1984. I mean, that law is mm -hmm. now 36 years old. Uh, there's been a considerable amount of change in comprehensive. It's land, younger than me. Land use. <laughs> Sorry. Is it younger than you? But I, I, but I just think with all the various plans that we put in place, I, I really think it might be a good time to, to revisit that local law to make sure that it reflects where we are today. Uh, I, I did have discussions with both Steve and Trevor. Um, you know, and that was probably one of the biggest concerns is where it fits mm -hmm. in today. Yeah, I, um, I, I agree too, Chuck, in terms of to make sure that it fits what, what our vision is going forward. Sure. Okay. Anything further? Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie resolution. Uh, sorry, resolution carries. Resolution 145, appointment for Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. Whereas the town board passed 20-118 uh, for a Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. And whereas Danielle Warner possesses skills and experience and the willingness and enthusiasm to serve as a member of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee, therefore be it resolved that the town of Plattsburgh Town Board does hereby appoint Danielle Warner 
to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee to serve a term until December 31st, 2021, and be it further resolved that Ms. Borner take the oath of office within 30 days of this resolution. Is there an motion? So, Austin, is there a second? Our apologies for the late addition here. We, uh, we kind of dropped the ball on that and the application has been there for a bit. Uh, one of the goals was to get if at least one or, one or two more high school mm -hmm. age uh, members on that particular committee. So, okay, thanks uh, Danielle did step forward. So, I, you know, again, uh, thank you to you folks and also Mel and Aaron uh, and, uh, and all the folks that are on this. Uh, new advisory committee, I really do believe that it's going to provide um, a lot of new you know, vision and, and opportunities. So looking forward to some uh, of the outcomes from that. So. It's a really good committee. That's really good. Our next meeting on Monday. Great. Help, tell me, how many members at this point can you help me? She makes 10. 10. And will this be, for, this will be enough for the rest of the uh, year? Yeah, I think 10 is a, a good number in what we had thought it would be. If we add anybody, it would be if we could find high school students from either the pre and or the town school districts. We would love to have students from either or both both of those schools. Oh, that's why I'm asking in case there's a an interest in yep. other school districts. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. <coughs> uh, before uh, I seek a motion for adjournment tonight, I don't know. I do not believe that there's a need to go into an executive session. Just want to make a public service announcement to uh, those watching at home, but also as a reminder to everybody here, we do have our budget workshop session on Saturday, starting promptly at 8 a.m. here in the room. Um, it has been requested, Barb, by many of the department heads, I think, for you to bring donuts again. <laughs> uh, we've been doing this now, I think, four or five years. Uh, we've moved it to a Saturday because it allows for us to capture everybody uh, collectively and it gives uh, ample time for Patrick to make any uh, amendments and, and changes. So uh, this is a pretty easy budget, uh, so I don't think it will take too long, but we'll see everybody on Saturday. All right. Could we, are we going to set up like this so that we can be spread out? Yes, so the, the room will be um, basically a circle. It will be us like this and then there will be a table further down uh, for the department head, and Patrick will take Kevin's seat. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, with that said, is there a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting? So moved. Weber. Is there a second? Second. Okay. <laughs> Discussion. <laughs> Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 We will adjourn at 6 11 p.m. See you on Saturday. Be safe, everyone. Thank you. The next meeting is the last one. Yes. Yes. Right, we don't have one. Right, we won't have one on the 20. Yeah, 30th or 20th. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.